good morning guys i hope you're doing well today so here we are again on a beautiful monday morning and i just want to let you know that i am going to be making videos every single monday so that um whenever we start our week we can start with a little bit of more uh, positivity and joy because i know how mondays can be like i talked to you about in our last video they seem to drag for a lot of us they seem to be tough to get through so we're going to make sure that we start off our mondays with a positive mind with an open heart and to make sure that the rest of our week is wonderful so today i uh, just wanted to let you know that so just be looking forward to my videos every monday i don't have a set time because setting a time is just a little bit too concrete for me so just sometime on monday you'll be notified that i have a new video just click that little bell so that you can be notified so today i want to talk about our life mission i know sometimes we can think that there isn't a true mission for us on this world or that we may not know what it is, you know? So I wanna go over a couple of things that I've done to help me realize what mine is. So the first one that I wanna talk about is finding your quiet space. As you know, we live in a world with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these other social media uh, outlets and they're great but if we have too much of those they can start weighing us down and it can start sort of taking over our mind so one thing that i like to do is just finding my quiet space alone so whenever i'm in my quiet space by myself i don't turn on the television i don't go on facebook i'm just literally here by myself and just analyzing and accepting what i'm thinking right and the, and the things that come to my mind i often look at those and i'm like okay why is this worrying me why are these things coming into my mind constantly and that helps me better understand myself and it helps me realize what's really going on deep inside because a lot of the time during my day to day i can't seem to think of those things because i'm so worried about work or i'm so worried about family of all these things and we all and we all have these things going on we're all living a very busy life so taking some time just for yourself to allow yourself to think to feel to do whatever it is that you want is wonderful and i definitely recommend that as your first step the second step that i would recommend is to think about when you were a child whenever we were children we innately did things that we enjoyed we and looked to do more of that that we enjoyed because it felt good so we kept doing more of it whether that's writing whether that's um, drawing playing an instrument whatever it is whatever it is remember that just kind of give yourself a moment of reflection to where you can think of when you were a child what were those things that you enjoyed what was it that made you smile every morning you know what, what was that and once you have an idea of what that is Go ahead and just make yourself a little list. Make a little list of those things so that you can look them over. Because what I found is when I made my list, some of the stuff I put on, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I totally forgot that I enjoyed doing this. I totally forgot all about this. But then whenever I can look back at the list and reflect on it, then I can be more aware of what it is that I truly enjoyed. Not just when I was a child, but realize what was missing in my life now. So the third step to take this uh, week uh, in order to be able to uh, to find out what our mission in life is is to accept those thoughts that come to you and accept the uh, things that you enjoyed when you were a child so a lot of the time when we take our time to to be alone and to reflect on what we like to do as a child sometimes we start thinking yeah but there's no way i can do that because you know, I have to work, I have to do this, I have to do that. We make excuses why we don't do the things that we enjoy. When we fail to realize that by doing those things that we enjoy, we are giving a gift back to our community. We are giving a gift back to the world. And if we don't act on those things, then there's a little piece of you that's going to be missing as, as part of the big picture. But if we all took the time to really allow ourselves to be okay in enjoying doing the, the funner things in life, the more creative aspects of ourselves. If we allowed ourselves to really take action on those things, the world would not only be a more colorful and vibrant place, but it would be a place of more unity because everyone would be doing the things that they enjoy and when they enjoy them. So that is all for, 
for that mission in life, but I, I do want to encourage you that every single Monday, instead of waking up and, and thinking that it's a drag to go to work or to do all of these things, start taking a little bit of time for yourself and realizing, you know, what is it that I that I really want to do? Allow um, allow yourself that time, that space, and that moment to really go through the process. And I guarantee you that if you do this, not only will you really find what you truly enjoy and what you truly love, but you're going to love and accept yourself even more because you've allowed yourself that space. You've allowed yourself that time. And I know sometimes it can be easy to say this and it's harder to do, but if you start today just giving yourself 10 minutes by yourself, it'll, it'll be a small step in getting towards your goal of really finding that mission in life, that thing that is your gift that the, that the world needs from you. So I want to thank you for listening to, to my videos and I hope that these help you. If you find that, that these videos are helpful to you and you enjoy them, I would love it if you would give me a like and of course subscribe to my channel and there's like that little bell that notifies you of my other videos. So go ahead and click that little bell. And also, if there's something that you'd like me to talk about or if you've got certain questions, feel free to message me or send me a comment. But I hope that this week is a wonderful week for you and I hope that you take these three steps to finding what your mission in life is and what your gift to this world is. I send you all these positive and wonderful vibes and I look forward to talking to you again next Monday. Bye!